Hello, my name is Dave McGuire and I have Crohn's disease. I have had Crohn's disease since I was 18 years old and I'm now 29, so it's been a little bit over a decade. Uh, to go into whether or not I find if nutrition diet helps, I do believe it does. I basically altered my diet from the start of my initial diagnosis, going from kind of lactose free to corn free to red meat free to gluten free. So kind of all the general steps we could call it that a nutritionist slash dietitian slash uh, reflexologist, naturopathic doctor suggested. And on the whole, most of it kind of did not make that big of a difference, but I did find that removing large quantities of dairy and going gluten-free did make a pretty substantial difference. Flash forward to about two years ago, I had surgery where I had my uh, appendix uh, several feet of my large intestine and several inches of my small intestine removed. It was a right hemicolectomy. Uh, after that surgery, I found that it was fairly difficult to digest any form of gluten. So I just cut that right out entirely. There was periods of time where I played with having it back in and out. So I do believe that diet does play a fairly large role in managing both signs and symptoms of IBD, especially Crohn's for myself. But with that being said, I don't think that just having a clean diet for myself would have worked. I have had some medication to help along the way. I am on a biologic, largely due to the way that I have had my course of Crohn's disease. And I also think that it's very individual specific. We know that there's specific lifestyle factors and genetic predispositions, but we can control some factors within what we consume. So obviously not having something like McDonald's uh, or drinking alcohol or smoking uh, to help mitigate general feelings of inflammation and feeling kind of sickly, if you will, uh, definitely plays a role. As far as obesity and malnutrition goes, I find that it, I, I don't exactly think that it's my place to give a true statement or discussion on that, given that I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I work as a strength and conditioning coach, so I'm more than aware about uh, fat loss, uh, weight gain, moderating such areas, but as far as it goes for somebody who is struggling to gain weight due to a digestive disease, it, I don't think that that's kind of within my wheelhouse, but I will say that uh, as somebody who did struggle to gain weight, finding foods that work for you is going to be the biggest and best thing versus uh, following something that you either read on Google or you watch some YouTuber post about. Um, so pretty much finding what works best for you is going to be the best thing. As far as obesity goes, I know that it is equally as easy to gain weight once you are in remission as it is for a normal individual. So um, a very varying diet and exercise regimen, just like any normal individual, is not something that is beyond the scope of somebody with IBD. So for me, it, it doesn't make sense to treat said situations any differently. I try to treat myself as a normal, active, functioning individual. And outside of having the occasional flare, I, I am in remission largely due to exercise and what I am consuming. So I do try to stay active. And I do believe that the majority of the population, Crohn's, colitis, celiac, um, GERD, any other IBD related individuals should also be doing the same thing. Okay, thank you for your time. My experience with malnutrition as a Crohn's disease patient is pretty extensive. Um, when I was first diagnosed, I ended up losing a lot of weight, about 20 pounds in a month and a half, and it was really scary. And that was from diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, just an overall low, low appetite and just feeling unwell. Um, so a lot of the things that I chatted about and many of the strategies that I chatted about really helped me when I was dealing with my uh, period of being malnourished and losing weight. I used powdered milk. I used meal replacements. I was making sure I was having multivitamins every day. I was talking with my doctor. It was, um, it was really important to make sure that I followed my own advice when I was experiencing malnutrition. So it does help and I have firsthand experience um, using these strategies to help me get back to a healthy weight and just overall healthy and happy.